is a very funny person and does or says some very goofy things. I'm going to share some of these stories that give you an outlook into Owen's personality. Dustin Weber and I were just meandering through Owen's phone. Then we, be, then we came upon a good morning text of his girlfriend at the time, who is left to be unnamed. And it read, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Let's say the relationship came to a crashing halt a few days after this message was sent. As you can tell, Owen has a way with the ladies. I mean, if you happen to follow him on Twitter, I'm sure you've seen one of his I love you, Kenna. <laughs> Major, major stuff from that girlfriend. One of his latest ones read, You never leave my mind, and I don't mind you a bit. I don't mind you. <laughs> what are you, love, Owen? <laughs> That's so and Owen has two main phrases slash words. One is, <laughs> This usually comes after he realizes Mr. Jayman is doing this a quiz and he didn't read. Or well, my favorite one. Perhaps <laughs> usually comes after you ask him any question that is a yes or no question, but he can't just say yes or anything similar. It has to be that perhaps. <laughs> Owen is the only person I know who injures himself eating. One time, <laughs> one time Owen was eating Lucky Charms for breakfast because he was really hungry. He was so hungry that he tried to swallow the cereal in his mouth like so. <laughs> so he made his nose bleed from getting it on the floor. Yes, it actually happened. Seriously, Owen, you've been a great friend of me throughout high school. It was one of my first friends here at the gym. I'm going to miss all the stupid things we used to do and still do. But just know, if we don't go to the same college, you know it will always come back to me. Where you end up in college, that college is getting a gym of the person. Let me make that good look on your speech. <laughs> As most of you know me, I'm a goofy character. I don't want to lecture you with some dribble that you won't take to heart. It's just not who I am as a person. That's a waste of your time and mine. So I guess I'll just do what I do best, or try to do best, make people laugh. <laughs> Over the years, I've noticed laughing really does make everything better. When I'm sad, I like to watch funny videos or just think about funny things. After all, laughter is the best medicine, so why not have it at my expense? And if you don't think it's funny at all, please just laugh anyway, because it'll help me not stutter. <laughs> Anywho, let's get started. <laughs> First funny story I'll share with you happened just this summer with my family. We were enjoying the waves at the beach and having a great time. I was swimming with my cousin Haley and Jackson when I decided to dive into the water. Not the smartest decision I have made in a while. <laughs> As I fell into the water, I felt a sharp sting of pain in my right leg, and I began to dog paddle the shore. <laughs> I was breathing heavy, felt a deep pain in my thigh. I assumed it was just a really bad Charlie horse. The pain, however, did not leave my leg. I paddled toward shore and couldn't find the power to stand up. I crawled upon shore and found that my leg had a large hole in it. <laughs> the stingray had stung my leg. <laughs> I pulled out the sharp barb that was lodged in my thigh and watched in agony as the waves continued to crash against my leg and have blood fall into the sand. It was only then that I realized I was seriously hurt and almost passed out. <laughs> I lay there in pain a while. My uncle and aunt came to pick me up and carry me back to the beach house. Hold on. Alright. 
Once returning to the house, I lied in a beach folding chair, sitting there, pale as a ghost, and let my relative scope out a massive wound. My cousin Jabril found a lot of humor in my pain and found it necessary to take a picture and post it on Instagram. <laughs> he told me later, you know how many likes I got because of that? <laughs> Personally, since I have no relation with Instagram, I really couldn't give a darn if you got 500 hearts or whatever the heck it is. <laughs> but personally, uh, but I guess if you got a few more followers because of it, I guess my loss of blood and huge hole in my life hold me in bed for three days is worth it. No! <laughs> that was the worst pain of my life. I cried. <laughs> Oh my God. I also have plenty of funny stories about my collegiate experience as well. I had so many great times, such as playing distilled water gun fights in sophomore chemistry. <laughs> to all my dumb comments in regional, regional literature, I've had a ball the past four years in collegiate of school. One story in particular happened just a few short months ago while I was walking back with a cup of coffee. As most of you know, I'm not a morning person, and I need my coffee to act even the slightest bit awake. So, while walking back with Slick Rick, aka Ross, <laughs> there seemed to be quite a number of birds flying above our heads. At the time, I thought it was actually pretty cool, and I looked up to check out the nature. <laughs> then suddenly, I hear a plop, and looked down in my new Eagles jacket I just got for Christmas, and found a nice pile of bird poop. <laughs> Now, many would handle the situation delicately, but since I was half awake and already in a crap mood, this poop situation didn't help in the slightest. I yelled at the top of my lungs the S H I T word. <laughs> now, as most of you know, know me well, I do not have the best of luck with swearing. It just so happens every time I seem to have a no no word leave my mouth, it always ends up in the wrong adult's ears at the wrong time. <laughs> this moment is a perfect example of my luck. Just as I shouted a, the word, a lower school teacher was staring right at me in disgust. <laughs> Needless to say, I was embarrassed and tried to explain my vulgarity the best I could. And luckily, she found the story amusing and let me off with a warning. That day started off pretty crappy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has that one funny story that is just so odd and bizarre that it's almost impossible to explain and almost is never funny by the end of the punchline. However, I will now try to pull off this impossible feat and try to get this weird story off my chest. <laughs> now probably the funniest thing that has ever happened to me that I can remember happened my sophomore year of high school with Seth, Charlie, my mother, and I at a local steak and shake. I really don't know why it was so funny, but I'll try to paint the picture as best I can to fill you all in. So it was my first day of spring break. I believe we just got done eating burgers and fries from Steak and Shake. As we were sitting at the table, a man walked into Steak and Shake with a brisk walk and a very shady outfit. He looked like he was about 40, had a white breather on, baggy jeans and some beat up shoes. He came up to our table and asked with a weird tone and crazy look in his eyes. You a joke? <laughs> I heard the question and stared at his gold tooth the entirety of the time. I replied with a shaky, sure. <laughs> he then replies quickly, why did the cook get arrested? He looks at all of us with his mouth wide open. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's talking about, but really, we were so confused and dumbfounded, just the idea we didn't say a word. He then yelled, he got caught beating an egg and ran out of the steak and shake laughing. And he was sagging the kids up on the way out. We all looked at each other for a second and we start uncontrollably laughing. I was laughing for a solid 10 minutes. It hurt I was laughing so hard. This man was the pinnacle of my spring break and all he did was make me laugh with one joke. A joke that was actually really stupid. <laughs> yeah, he looked a little gone when he told it. <laughs> but the fact that he just wanted to make a few kids laugh was a really made to me. It really is amazing how laughter can bring people together and more importantly just make a world a better place. 
If I make one person laugh a day, that means I make one person's day just a little, just one lap better than it already was. And isn't that a truly a gift all on its own? <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine, and it's an endless supply. So why not use it to our fullest extent? So crack a joke every once in a while. Maybe people will laugh with you, or maybe they'll laugh at you. Either way, you're making people smile, and that's what makes it worth all the while. <laughs>